thought about this. These checks and companies need to be charged with pimping and paying. It's a minimum. They should do five years in prison. And when they get out, they should do a motherfucking follow-up interview with Mark off Soft White Underdog. <laughs> yeah, man, how did y'all keep losing these truck drivers? This was the biggest pimping ass business ever. Yeah, I was, I was, I was just getting these hoes in and putting them on the motherfucking track. They was bending these streets, hitting them damn corners and shit. Hell, we had streets. We were just like, go hit Fig real quick. <laughs> I ain't even from LA. Like, I don't know all about that shit. It, you know, I think what in Houston they call that shit Telephone Road or some shit. We hit that damn track. I'm like, yeah, man, that shut us down. Damn, y'all was doing good, Swift. USA Truck. Creek. Warner. What, what, what's going on? Y'all was a multi-millionaire pimping business. Yeah, man, they got us, man. Human trafficking. Pimping and pandering. <laughs> they put a charge on us. The feds picked it up. <laughs> Human trafficking. <laughs> Oh, I'm done. I just wanted to get that joke off. I can see him now sitting down on soft white underbelly getting interviewed by Mark. How long you guys been pimping a bag? <laughs> oh, so, hey, interviewing the truck on me, so. Hey, I know there's different styles of pimping, so what type of pimps are you guys? The gorilla pimps? <laughs> How often do y'all have to beat your house? <laughs> oh, usually I buy them, which we call them, you know, she the recruiter. She bring in all the talent, tell them everything they need to hear. Then when they get here, that's when the real, we, we treat them right for the first week or first month. Then we break them hoes in. <laughs> oh, shit.